guess I am giving away my 17 Cowie 250F. Um, if you guys are interested, as you saw from the, the little intro, the edit from this thing, every $5 spent gives you one entry to win this thing on my website. The top line in the description brings you there if you want to check out the new line of merch. So check out the new hoodies and shirts along with some new products I have on the site, key tags, the Dango gripper mounts, which you've all have seen if you haven't seen it. This is how I film every GoPro video. This thing clips onto the front of my helmet. These Dango design gripper mounts. Here's the one that I've used for the past like two years. Basically, if you haven't seen it, clips right up onto the front of the helmet. And this is the best angle you could ever get with a GoPro to get the handlebars all in front of you. If you don't know, I don't know where you've been. These things are sick and uh, I'll never use any different GoPro angler mount ever again. So we got these on the site. All right, so here's the new line. We got the money bag logo front and back right here on the hoodies. And then uh, we got another one at the Alta the front and the back. Aside from these two, we got two other hoodies. We have the black camo and then another standard logo, Timo Max, on the site. Then we have all the same designs, the hoodies on t-shirts. So very limited quantities on like especially the hoodies. There's not too many of them. So I didn't know how much to order and it took a while to get them in. This has been like at least a four or five month process to get all the designs done, figure out what kind of stuff I wanted to print on. And these things definitely like you will not be cold. These will probably be one of the most comfortable hoodies in your closet by far. They're super thick, super heavyweight, super thick hoods, super thick everything. You will definitely not be cold. Like I said, probably will be the best hoodie in your closet. I'm not like even exaggerating. Justin has the same one on here. I've been Let's riding get... for about 20 minutes outside. <laughs> it's like 20 degrees outside. Yeah, yeah. perfect. So size wise, um, this is a large. I'm wearing a large. So they're definitely true to fit. They're a little bit kind of long cut for size reference. If you want something, I'd get it now. I'm not sure if I'm gonna restock the hoodies once they sell out, so get it while it lasts if you don't wanna miss out. But like I said, top line in the description to my website. Check everything out. Every $5 spent gives you one entry. I'll ship the bike to you. You can come pick it up, whatever you wanna do, like I did the CR. Shipped it right to Dexter, no problem. He's been ripping it. If you haven't seen Dexter riding the CR a while ago, um, some of the videos that he sent me on my Instagram and stuff. Same deal, you know how this stuff goes. Um, kind of run over on the bike. Um, obviously, it's got an FMF 4.1 um, sticker delete on there, FMF powerbomb header, um, Traction Max seat cover, as you guys have seen, fresh graphics kit from AM Designs, possibly might do, um, if say you want your number on there, I'll get you hooked up with your own numbers um, on the bike, if that's what you want, if you don't want my number. So we'll get the winner set up with a fresh graphics kit when they win it. Brand new clutch, brand new dirt trick sprocket, brand new chain. Gonna put some brand new grips on there. This thing is ready to go for whoever wants to ride it come springtime. Whoever wins it, you might be able to ride it when you get it. For me, obviously the snow. But yeah, this thing's definitely solid still. And uh, I would keep riding it, but I have to make room for it in the garage to, uh, I don't have a ton of room in here as you guys have seen. Got too many bikes in here and not enough room. I gotta bring the e-bike over here to the sled. Wouldn't get rid of it, I would just keep riding it, but I gotta make room for a new toy, which you guys will see very soon. Things still fresh, I'll fire it up, I'll show you guys. Bike's dead cold, it's like 40 degrees in here. Should start right up, it's still fresh. All in one take, no cuts. Thing fired right up, ready to go, and uh, ready for the winter for when they get it so they can rip on this thing. this thing warm up give you a couple revs and then I'll uh, we'll carry on with the rest of the video ripping sleds and stuff all right this thing's nice and warm there you have it bike's definitely still fresh get your entries in I'm not trying to hide the fact on how many hours this thing has so here's the hour meter from brand new my camera will focus, 68.5. Still got a lot of life left, and I'd, like I said, I'd keep riding it. And I might honestly, just for next year, just run the 125 and uh, not have a 250F because this thing doesn't get enough love and really don't need two bikes, so probably just gonna run that bad boy. So don't miss out, get your entries in, and I uh, will carry on with the rest of the video or loading up sleds, heading over to Bailey's and mess around for a little bit. And uh, should be fun. Justin's trying to put the scene units in the snowmobile helmets. Gotta swap it out from the... Uh, the moto set up here. Is it working or it's not gonna fit? I'm gonna see if I can get. I just haven't taken off the handguards yet. I mean, if you want them, you can have them or take them off. 
It'll also come with like all the stock uh, plastics. I've got a bunch of plastics for it. The stock OEM stuff, so if you don't happen to like this and want different stuff, you'll have it. Brought both the bikes out for thumbnail purposes. I love this thing. This bike is shining in the sun. Every time I look at the bike, I just never gets old. Thing just hits different, I don't know. All right, I got the sled out, we'll get it loaded up and head over to Bailey's. This thing is filthy from the last time we rode when I didn't film at night. It was just muddy, we shouldn't have ridden. But I'll have to power wash it when all the snow melts in the next week. skip it. It's got a little bit of ice, but it's definitely going to break once I get on it. But there's just rocks everywhere. There's no, like, clear point I gotta find. If I can get through over here, maybe. Yeah, but if I come in from that way, I'm going right into these branches. I'll do it. Oh, here goes nothing. It didn't through. break. Just kind of spun on top. It broke when I first went in, but if I keep doing it, it'll break. Thing coming through. <laughs> I'd say that's probably the lamest pond skip. It's so small. I want to do the full thing. Like I try and come straight through. But there's a bunch of branches and junk in the way. I don't know. Alright, Ryan just showed up. We're going to see a uh, little race what's faster. His, uh, I don't know what it is. It's a CR6000 Articat something. Through, it's kind of sketch. Yeah. 
It's just like ice. All right, good time ripping around for a little bit. Get it unloaded and get this thing put away. All right, here's the day. Finally going to pick up all the merch and stuff. Side note, looking in the garage here before I get in the truck. The sled from the other day is covered in mud from that little ride we did. Definitely was not worth it. From that right now, we gotta head over to Mike's. We gotta get his van out of the snow because my truck, I don't really know uh, what to expect. I know there's a lot of stuff to pick up and my truck isn't big enough um, to actually pick it all up. So I'm gonna head there now, get his van out. We'll drive there. And then I'm kind of nervous how much stuff I have to I don't know where I'm gonna put it. I always need gas in this thing. There she is, buried. No problem. No need for four wheel. Man, this thing's got a knock just like that F-150 too. <laughs> Both have knocks. They don't have power locks. <laughs> no, I said the engine's knocking like that F-150. No, it's not. <laughs> well, we got about a pallet and a half of stuff in here. Whole van is no. loaded. A couple uh, we she said that on tuesday i have the equivalent so two vans worth of stuff this is a lot more than i mean it's all folded bag that's probably why it takes up so much space but this is a lot of stuff man well the van's having issues so uh the back wheel's like clicking locking up gotta figure out what the problem is of course we got problems another day another problem I never actually ended up closing out on what happened to the van. We had to wait a while. Mike's dad had to come look at the van. Must have been the wheel bearing or something went out. So we actually got it home. It like clicked all the way home, like thumping, almost locking up the rear brake. And we got it back to Mike's house and we went to go bring it to my house to uh, drop all the merch and stuff off. And then while they were driving it, the back we locked up, they skidded off the road and then somehow it broke free. They got it back to their house and we had to figure out how to load all the boxes into my truck along with Mike's car to get it to my house. It was a whole fiasco, a whole mess. But we got everything here, and I gotta go back on Monday or Tuesday and pick up another like 30 boxes of stuff. So that was just like half the stuff that I had. I don't think I actually showed all of it, but part of the game though, something always has gotta go wrong. Matt, to end this video off, um, like I said, every $5 spent gives you one entry to win this thing. Top line in the description to my website. Super limited quantity on the shirts and hoodies. Um, I got new key tags, everything new on the site. So if you wanna check it out, new stickers, everything should be up. And I might release a couple new things along um, the actual length of the giveaway, which is gonna be about a month. I think I'm gonna end it on whatever today's date is. I think it'll end around December um, 17th or 18th. Everybody can get their stuff before Christmas if it would be for like a Christmas present or something like that. So off of that, if you guys enjoyed it and you wanna see more, let me know in the comments. Subscribe if you're new, like the video, and I'll see you guys tomorrow in the next video.